of trouble. Maybe we've got to lure him out. Advisory level is currently Step right up! That was his desire, even Well, look who it is! Hmm? Bex business? That's right, buddy! And right now, we just so happen to be looking to hire new talent! Say, since you're here, how about I pencil you in for an interview? Sound good? Ooh, yeah! Sign him up, boss! Of course! So you gotta He's get penciled? Pencil. Hell no! Prospective employee. First things first, what is your full name? Cloud Strife. Seriously? Cloud Strife. Something nice name. Real poetic. Next up, I'm gonna need your employment history. Doesn't get much more prestigious than that, does it? Explains why you're so strong, too. As you know, we here at Beck's Business make a living by slaying fiends and keeping folks safe. If you were to join us, what sort of skills would you bring to the table? I can vouch for him on that one, Mr. President. Mm. This guy will mash monsters in seconds flat. Yeah, just like he did to us. Shit. Let me just confer with my associates. Hey, what we up? can get this schlub to do all the heavy lifting for us. Our monster troubles are over, boys. After thorough deliberation, our council has decided to approve your candidacy. Congratulations! Congratulations! You candidate! We've been holding out hope for a qualified applicant, and your accomplishments speak for themselves, Mr. Strife. Indeed, I think you have the potential to become a mentor to your new colleagues. Welcome to the BB family. I'm your superior, and you're my... Superior! <laughs> We've got some big expectations for you, rookie. rookie. Okay, now that the formalities are out of the way, it's time for your first assignment. There's an old highway on the outskirts of town. Go on ahead and prep the battle while you're at it. We've got some uh, paperwork. You ain't serious about this, are you? Ain't I always serious? What Never know. You could be a nice change of pace. You're gonna start wearing a mask, too?
How's it looking over there? You done with our work? We ain't done shit! God damn it, was hoping they'd be dead. Juan, get him, puppy! Business is closed, and 
in its place. I'll be forming Vex Bikers, a band of outlaws born to rule the open road. Yeah, boss! Yeah, boss! Ready, boys? Then let's burn rubber! You got it, boss! Okay. Let's do this. My friend. We're recruiting for Crows Against What we lack in numbers, we make up for in passion. are saying there's gonna be a war soon. A real bad one, too. And because we're right below Junon, everyone's worried we're gonna get hit first. Don't worry. Under Junon doesn't really have any strategic value. I mean, it would get taken along with the rest of the city. But so long as you don't piss off the occupying forces, it probably wouldn't beat the crap out of you. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope that doesn't happen, because it sounds horrible. <laughs> Um, more importantly, how long has it been since we last saw each other? We should make the most of this lucky little reunion. That'd be great. But what should we do? Hmm. Ah, I've got it! Our adorable dolphin friend and this guy are gonna put on the most spectacular show ever! Who's ready for a good time? Yay! Yay! <laughs>
know Mr. Dolphin could do that. Yeah, neither did I. I kind of want to be a dolphin trainer, too. You know, all we really need is a couple of super-duper powerful orbs. We give Shinra and Sephiroth what's coming to them, and then it's happily ever after. Maybe. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the show. But even if you didn't, you still gotta pay. That'll be one orb apiece, kiddos. Pony up! What? But I don't have any! What a rip-off! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, without paying? <laughs> Thanks a bunch, mister. You better come back and put on another show sometime, okay? Sure. <laughs> Waiting for an encore. Distrust in Mr. Seventh Infantry, right? It's good to see you again, Captain. You here to offer support? Something like that. Sit rep? Sir, we managed to contain a dangerous fiend in the sector up ahead. But said fiend proved more formidable than expected. So we were awaiting reinforcements. And imagine our surprise when you showed up. The target seems to have settled down, but there's no telling when it'll act up again. 
Now's the perfect time to take the thing out. Suppose we ought to lend him a hand, huh? All right, Captain, follow us! needs to be informed about the situation. That thing's vicious. Give it the chance, and it'll rip your heads clean off. So make sure you beat it to the punch. We'll link back up with you once we finish our report. Till then, Captain!
Deal with that. Need my heart to like that. <laughs> hey, did you see me in action? Let's <laughs> go. 
I'm told that the target's been neutralized. Excellent work out there. Bam! <laughs> Something on your mind, trooper? Very well. Permission to speak granted. What's the 7th Infantry still doing out here? I figured you guys would have been shipped back to Midgar by now. Normally, I wouldn't answer that sort of question. But why not? The Brass ordered us to remain behind, following the ceremony. Anything else? That little Hellion back there was a bioweapon developed by R&D with the cooperation of advanced weaponry. They were keeping it at that underwater facility of theirs, but it managed to escape during a recent incident. Our investigations are ongoing, but we suspect the Shinra Resistance Committee was involved. You're familiar with their operations? Nope, not at all. They may operate as independent cells, but it seems they communicate regularly. Well, united by their desire to take down Shinra, the how and why of it varies considerably between factions. Some see civilian casualties as acceptable collateral damage, or our fault. I've no doubt these extremists sick that monster on the city. Such scum deserve nothing less than to be trapped in a room full of tonberries. Our orders were to neutralize the fleeing fiend and ensure the safety of the local populace. While we succeeded in locating the target and keeping it contained within an isolated area, it was too tough to take on. After we parted ways with you, we hurried back to Junon and called for additional reinforcements. But our calls went unanswered. There just aren't enough troopers to go around. That's bullshit. There's plenty of troopers. They just didn't want to help because they heard we were fraternizing with the enemy. I have to admit I was worried the situation might have gotten completely out of hand. But you managed to bring it under control. You did good out there today. <laughs> I must say, in all my wildest dreams, I never thought I'd have a soldier in my ranks. One who keeps such unusual company at that. Suspected terrorists, a Utaya ninja, an escaped lab rat, and an ancient. At ease, we're heading home. I need to report today's events, how the 7th Infantry resolved the crisis on its own. So you're not gonna tell them about us? <laughs> no, but you best leave before I change my mind. Otherwise, I might just strap you to the back of a dragon. Assuming we all live long enough, there's a chance we may meet again someday. Though let's hope for your sakes that it isn't on the field of battle. We thank you for your support, Captain. Seventh Infantry, salute! At ease, troop. We're good this time.
Tell me, are you here for a match? I'm game, I guess. Oh, come on. You doing this or what?
Let me tell you a story. Once, there lived a queen of peerless beauty and compassion. She loved her people. And they, in turn, loved her. But one day, a change came over the queen. In the blink of an eye, her love turned to hate, her compassion to cruelty. Fair and beauteous though she remained, her heart became black as pitch. Conquest was now her cause, her subjects mere fodder to feed her boundless ambition. And so her kingdom grew as her people perished. Until, that is, a ray of hope appeared. A sorceress who would be their salvation. The Emerald Witch, they called her. And with her arcane powers, she led the people in rebellion, captured the queen, and put her to death. Yet from the tyrant's body spilled blood as dark as shadow. And from this wicked Ikor, the myriad fiends of the world were born. And that is the story of the Shadow Blood Queen. Some call it a parable, a myth, a fairy tale, and I wish it were. But she is as real as you and I. And she is coming. Her resurrection is nigh. You know what must be done. She cannot be allowed to return. She must not reclaim her throne. I pray you will succeed where I so miserably failed. You are our last hope. you at the haunted hotel. You must hurry. Oh. Don't mind me. I've not been feeling so hot. Hey, Cloud. Do you know anything about the Shadow Blood Queen card? It's the most powerful card in the world. One of a kind. Though, it seems there's a special card that can supposedly counter it. The Emerald Witch. <gasps> sorry, sorry. Just forget I said anything. I'm really tired is all. Too many competitions lately. Congratulations, Cloud. You have risen to the rank of Blood Marquis. By the way, I recently received a letter addressed to you. It read, I'll be waiting for you at the Hotel in the Gold Saucer from a friendly specter. Are they inviting you to play Queen's Blood with them? I wonder.
long as you want. See ya. If you need something else, you know where to find us. of such pulchritude. If I had the money, I'd pay your price in a heartbeat. But alas... I'll pay you if you rein it in. Don't think I caught your name. Oh. Oh, my sincerest apologies. I'm Neve, and I write children's books for a living. Which sounds fun, but it's not, since right now I'm flat broke. I spent my last remaining gill to come scout out this village. I was hoping to use something here in my next book, but... <sighs> the specter of failure stalks me, looming from behind every corner! Will my creative instincts ever return, or am I doomed to chase them like a rat in a life-size maze? Wait, what did you say? And that sounded a lot like... <gasps> I'm a rat trapped in a life-size maze! Sorry, but I just gotta ask. You're Meave Mabel, aren't you? Author of Life in the Endless Maze. <laughs> That's my daughter's favorite book in the whole world. Can I get an autograph? Wait, actually, can I shake your hand? Uh, huh? Uh, of course! Anything for a fan. I mean, I always assumed I didn't have any. But it's an incredible honor to finally meet an aficionado of my work. <laughs> you said you were scouting this village for book ideas, yeah? <laughs> if it's all right with you, we'd love to help. Got the perfect guy to serve as inspiration, too. What? You are perfect! I am? Yes, I can see it now. A warrior beast with fur as fiery as his burning soul! <laughs> Curse this feeble frame! My mind races, yet my hands plod along as if trapped in treacle! Miss Mabel, are you alright? <sighs> Resolve, suffering, odyssey. Help me to express these themes by taking pictures which embody them. I beseech you. Resolve, suffering, and odyssey. Those are great themes. We're gonna need locations to do them justice, though. There's a riverbed by the edge of the forest that'll work. Come on, let's hit it up. I can't wait to see your photos. They're sure to help me write a story like no other. Thank you. 
<laughs> Step aside. I'll show you how it's done. Pitch your Scarlet's ugly mug and we're golden. Easy as pie, am I right? Okay, one pensive looking Nanaki coming up. Make sure to catch my good side, all right? This is gonna be the best one yet.
Okay, make way for the bottle. Okay, the last one is Odyssey. Don't know about you, but that screams airstrip to me. Let us fly on the wings of dreams together and claim our freedom. You know, like the book. Try some of our This is the GYC remark. All these rumors about uh. the <sighs> That's the potato shortage. Now then. We don't stop at your normal sundries. We sell materia too. Can I interest you in? Imagination. What is this feeling? It's as if my hand has become a conduit for the gods of prose. 
Uh, uh, there once was a crimson warrior who everyone loved. He was so strong they called him the king of the forest. But he wanted to be even stronger, so he went on an adventure. That's actually not too bad of a start. While on his journey, he came across a group of three brave knights. The knights were very impressed, and they told him, You are the king of which the legends foretold! Please, lead our people to victory! Oh, wow! I like where this is going! He gazed off into the distance and with conviction declared, Though I began my journey as king of the forest, that is not where I shall end it. My future lies far beyond the woods. This is bound for the bestseller list. A surefire hit. Right, Cloud? You never know. Oh, man, you really just don't get it, do you? Listen, you gotta have faith. If you don't write something you think will sell, it won't. So believe. Try it, but quite true. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to read this to my Marlene. Don't want to rush you. But I hope you can finish it soon. Thank you! And I promise that the instant it's complete, I'll make sure to send you and your daughter a copy. Oh, right! And one for our bestial brainchild. <laughs> Slightly troubling report. But not troubling enough to let us go with her. I'm captain. It just makes sense for me to go. Yeah, but not by yourself. We're talking in circles. If I may, as you can tell by looking at him, Cloud here has a lot of experience taking care of trouble. So why don't you send him on patrol instead? Don't worry, I'll go. Give you time to talk things over. What do you think? Okay then, if you've got time to spare. Recently, folks have spotted some foul-looking fiends outside the village. I want you to head to the observation tower. Take a look around. See if you notice anything suspicious. Just leave it to him.
over there. Let's go. Spotted something. Let's check it out. Look over there! I just saw something moving! Bingo! Let's not lose sight of it. Hang back. Freeze! 
from the outlook was pretty nice, huh? I like to relax there. Plus, it's easy to spot people coming our way well in advance. Wait, are you... expecting someone? I've got a lot of questions I've been meaning to ask you, you know. Not so. Fine. But I don't have all day. You get one question, and one question only. Sure, I follow. You say you think I'm hiding something? I say you're reading too much into nothing. You knew who I was when we showed up. It was written all over your face. Cloud does have a sixth sense about this kind of thing. And honestly, I got that feeling too. Something's up. Oh, fine. You caught me, Cloud. You and I have met before. All right. When and where? Now, now. Only one question. I'm afraid you're gonna have to remember those details without any hints. But I'll be crushed if you can't manage. <sighs> it's not like that, I promise. Don't worry. Uh, huh. Got anything to say, Cloud? You can try again later. Anyway... This world of ours is about to change. That's not my gut talking. The writing's been on the wall for a while now. And there's nothing we can do to stop what's coming. I bet you could, if anyone. That's sweet. You know... I think I see it now. What he saw in you. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, what? Yeah? Yeah? And on that note, let's head back.
Cosmo Canyon. May the blessings of the planet be upon you all, friends of the Earth. The planets. All born of life. I can. The further.
deal with that. Oh, damn time! You're up! It's on you. Good luck out there. 